we can appreciate Bill Mayer's attempts to provide a balanced perspective while acknowledging both right and left anti-Semitism. There is an anti-Semitism afoot in this country that we haven't had in a very long time. Well, I, and, and I never thought I'd see the day. I tell you where it comes from. It comes from the right wing, the right, the extreme. No, it doesn't. You think it's left. You think it it's from the left. Well, there's, there is anti-Semitism on both sides. The right wing has the uh, Jews will not replace us nonsense. Right. The left wing is even worse. What? That, is, that, so. that is coming down from elite colleges who see everything only through a racial lens. They are stupid. They don't know history. They think everything is about colonizers and racists and how awful America is. And America has done some bad things, but to drag Israel into this as the stand-in for every bad thing white people ever did, this is not any more complicated to most of these college uh -huh. kids than the Palestinians are brown and poor, uh -huh. and the Israelis are rich and white, even though half of them are not rich and certainly not half, uh -huh. uh, not white and certainly not half rich. Yeah. Uh, so, but they think they're rich and white, so they're the colonizers and the apartheid people and the genocide people, but, and none of this jives with the facts. This approach aligns with democratic values, promoting fairness and a thorough understanding of social issues. Bill Mayer's critique of left-wing identity politics highlights public concern about the divisiveness of categorizing everything by race. The public argues this method oversimplifies complex problems and fosters unnecessary division. One can sympathize with Bill Maher's support for Netanyahu to some extent, recognizing the value of leaders perceived as prioritizing national security and public interest. However, there is also a call for accountability and transparency in leadership. Cognitive biases about how anti-Semitism is perceived across political groups come to light. Sandra Bernhard's immediate attribution to the right and Bill Maher's rebuttal to the left illustrate how deeply entrenched our interpretations of social issues are. 